The next book I have on my list is With a Far Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. It is me, Alana. For this video, I wanted to tell you guys about the books I will be focusing on in October. So, in case you're new or you don't know, I do seasonal TBRs on my channel just because they work better for me right now in this like time period of my life and I like having a longer stretch of a time period to read the books that I have on this TBR mostly because it gives me more time and I'm not stressing to finish a book within a month while I'm also trying to do other things in my life so I found that like seasonal TBRs are working the best at this moment. Maybe someday I'll change back to monthly TBRs uh, when my like life settles down or I feel like I can handle it again but for right now just seasonal is the way to go for me. But I did realize like as I was doing these seasonal TBRs that I would still like to update you on what I want like what books on my TBR or off my TBR that I am gonna focus on trying to get to. Um, within the month, I realized that I feel like that would be a better way to just let you know what books are kind of catching my eye during the months while also working on my seasonal TBR. So I figured I would try this out for October. And so in short terms, like now that I just did that long explanation for this video, I'm just going to show you guys what books I'm going to be looking at or trying to read in the month of October. Some of these are from my fall TBR and some of these are just books that I felt like I needed to kind of focus on whether it, it because they just came out or because it's spoopy season so I kind of want to get into that vibe a little bit. Uh, not too much but a little bit. But yeah, various reasons so I added those to the TBR and some of these are buddy reads, some of these are single reads that I'm doing by myself, uh, obviously. And yeah, so I'm just going to go ahead and get started and start telling you guys about the books. So the first book I'm going to try and focus on is Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen. Um, I feel like this is a very fall-ish read, honestly, so I'm kind of excited that I drew this for my fall TBR. I don't, <laughs> it's like a struggle just because of how big this is. Like, I'm interested in the story and the characters, but it's just so big sometimes that I'm like, do I really want to sit down with this? But I do, I do. I will be buddy reading this with a friend, so hopefully I'll be able to get to it next month. I'm hoping. The next book I want to focus on is Slay by Brittany Morris. This is an art that I received in a Twitter giveaway from a friend. Her book comes out today, the day that I'm filming this, which is like September 24th, I believe. Uh, I may be wrong, but... I want to try and instead of trying to binge read it this week that it comes out I'm gonna try and read it in October because I feel like it's a uh, fantasy kind of ish I think uh, so I feel like it fits the vibe of spoopy season almost and I really want to get to this book so I figured since I didn't get a chance to read it before and I didn't get the chance to read it the week of I'll just read it afterwards and then go from there. I'm really really excited to get at this book because I've heard good things and I just I'm excited to experience this world so yay. <laughs> the next book that I have on my list is With a Fire on High by Elizabeth Acevedo. I am actually buddy reading this <laughs> with my friend Carrie from Carrie the Book Bell and Haley from Haley Marie so I don't know what it is but one the three of us formed this like group chat <laughs> in text message <laughs> And, like, we've, like, it's been cool because we've become, like, really, really good friends. But <laughs> every month so far, we've just decided to buddy read something together. Uh, we are currently buddy reading Sarah Dessen's books together. Like, I'm feeling, filming this last week in September. So, for this month, we've been reading a Sarah Dessen book. And we're reading them, I think, in chronological order or publishing order whatever but <laughs> we were talking like last week or the week before we were uh Haley mentioned that something about me reading this book and I was like oh I haven't read it yet because I just haven't gotten around to it uh because it's on my like library and so I was like I'll just get to it when I can since I know that I can access it whenever I need to and I wanted to focus on the books that I 
maybe don't have as much access to or whatever. And so she was like, well, we should buddy read it together. And then Harry, Carrie jumped in and was like, oh, I haven't read that one yet either. We should all just buddy read it next month. So I think that's what we're gonna do. <laughs> Along with maybe buddy reading a Sarah Dessen book together as well. I have no idea. So I feel like we've just continued to uh, buddy read together every month and I love it so much. And I'm so like grateful that we can do that. But it's just funny because like none of this was ever planned. It's just really last minute like oh, we should just buddy read this together and then we do it so Fun. So that one I am going to be focusing on. It's actually part of my fall TBR as well. It was recommended to me by Nikki from XO Nikki, so I am excited to try and read it. Um, I'm gonna try you were listening to the audiobook because my library has it. If not, then I'll just switch to the ebook because my library has that too. The next book I'm going to be trying to read is Autobiography by Christina Lauren. Michelle from Michelle Reads YA recommended this to me for my fall TBR, and so I thought it would be a good time to try and read through this because I feel like I don't know why, but just looking at the cover, it gives me a fall ish vibe. So I want to try and read this. The next book I'll be reading is Daughters of Nuri by Rene K. Ameo. I'm sorry if I pronounce any of that stuff wrong. I'll definitely look it up the next time I need to pronounce this title and author and everything like that. I am going to be reading this as part of a book club that I am helping host for the month of October. Um, Brody from Etu Brody started a book club called the new release book club and so every month the book club focuses on a new release that everyone is excited to read and they pick one and then for that month they have um, specific hosts that will come on and talk about the book at the end of the month after reading it if that makes all <laughs> I hope that all makes sense so me Zoe from your book nerd Zoe Taylor from page screen Tay and B from Bewitched Selves plus Brody will be uh, reading this book in the month of October and then at the end of the month we I guess we'll be doing a live show where we talk about what we thought of the book and just all that kind of stuff. So I'm actually really excited because this is my first time like doing any kind of book clubbish type of thing and I like kind of nervous because I'm like uh never done that before but excited because uh I like being with friends and I like doing things with friends so this is a good way to do things with friends. Uh, you should totally join us in reading this book and jo like join us in the live show at the end of the month because that would be awesome. And honestly I've, I feel like I've heard good things about this book or at least I've heard a lot of people be excited about this book so I'm interested to see in like what I think and to see like how it's done basically. I will link the Twitter page for the book club down below so you can go check it out yourselves and give it a follow if you want to follow along. I know the book changes books. I think the book and the hosts besides Brody changes every month which I think is really cool because you get different perspectives from different people and it's not just like not that there's nothing wrong with like the same people being this in the same book club or anything like that but like you get different perspectives and different voices and different ideas and stuff like that and I think that's really cool so you should totally come join. The next book or next two books that I'm going to try to read, which I haven't decided if I'm going to try and read both or just one or the other yet, but they are How's Movie Castle by Diane Wynne-Jones and One Dark Throne by Kendara Blake. I'm trying to decide which one I want to read or if I want to read both. I'm not sure yet. They're honestly kind of contrasting in like vibes because this is very dark and this is not that dark. But it's gonna depend on just, I guess, how I feel during the month and whatever I want to pick up. So, I mean, this one's more spoopy than this one, but, like, they're both fantasy, so it doesn't really make that much of a difference to me. But I'm gonna try and at least get one of these done. I have no idea which one, but you'll find out in my wrap-up like I will. <laughs> Alright and then the last book I'm going to try and get to in the month of October is Midnight Beauties by Megan Shepard. I chose this because this is very very spoopy. This fits the theme of spoopy and uh, this is the sequel and I think the last book in her Grim Lovelace duology and so I feel like it's a fitting time to try and read it 
and see how this world ends. I enjoyed the first one, so I'm intrigued to see what happens next in this one just because the first one ended on a really interesting cliffhanger that I was not expecting, so... Plus it just has the spooky vibe of like Paris and goblins and ghosties and beasties and it's just like uh, I love it. Okay so those are the books that I'm going to be trying to work on in the month of October. Some of them I'm definitely going to get to, some of them I might not but we shall see and honestly I'll let you know which ones I do and don't in the wrap up obviously. So yeah. If you all like the video, please like it down below. If you have any comments, questions, or observations, whatever, please put them all down below. I love hearing your thoughts and whatever else you have to say. If you're not good at commenting on videos, I'm going to say leave me an emoji down below. I'm stealing the idea from my friend Sylvia from Wish Fulfillment. I just really love knowing that you guys are watching my content and I love interacting with you and I want to make sure that um, I'm making content that you all enjoy. So, I just love to know that you're present, I guess, basically. Uh, if you all want to keep seeing more videos from me, please subscribe down below. You're all sunflowers in a world full of weeds, and I hope your spoopy season is going very, very well.